Today I'm going to show you how I made a cold frame. Cold frames are like little greenhouses. You place them on top of your garden to extend the growing season. Now sadly, this isn't the first time I've made a cold frame. Last year I made this cold frame, but it had a problem. The walls were too thin, so it didn't retain heat very well. This time around, I decided to do it right. I used thicker lumber and followed Nikki Jabour's guide in The Year Round Vegetable Gardener. So let's start from the beginning. First, I got some lumber. I got two two by tens and three two by sixes. Then I cut these boards in half. This gave me six pieces from the two by six, but I only needed five, so I got rid of one. Now in order to maximize sunlight, cold frames need to be on an angle. So the back needs to be higher than the front. So these three pieces will be our back, and these two pieces will be our front. So let's start with the back. First, I measured the space I would need for the sides to connect later. Then I nailed a piece of scrap wood to connect the pieces. And there we go, the back was connected. Then I did the same thing to these two boards to build the front. I marked off space for the sides, and then I nailed a piece of scrap wood to connect the boards together. From there, the front and back were done. Next up, I built the sides, and I used two of these pieces for each side. So I put two of those pieces into place. And I marked the high point at the back and the low point at the front. Then I used a ruler slash hockey stick to connect the lines and cut those pieces along the line. And then again, I used scrap wood to connect those pieces. So now we can put together the back and the front with the two sides. Then I attached the sides with some screws. And the base was connected. So next up was the lid that I was going to place on top of the base. I made the lid with some scrap wood I had lying around. I just cut four pieces to fit for the lid. To attach the four pieces together, I put braces on each corner. And there we go, we got the outline of a lid. The only thing missing was the glass top, or in my case, the polyethylene plastic that I got from Home Depot. I fastened the plastic to the lid with some screws. Then I also added a handle. From here, the cold frame was ready to go into the garden. So one thing I decided to do was put some weather stripping along the top. Then it was time to attach the lid. So I positioned it, and then I screwed in two hinges at the back. And there we go, the cold frame was done. So how well did the cold frame work? Well, I came back a few days later and noticed it was eight degrees warmer than the outside. Minus 12 outside. Cold frame. Minus 4. The main thing to understand is that a cold frame works like one of those styrofoam coolers. It just stays colder longer or warmer longer. So if you come out in the morning, it may not be dramatically warmer than the outside. But as the day goes on, the cold frame will warm up. Hope that video was helpful or informative. Uh, I'm definitely going to make more on this channel, so you can subscribe if you'd like. Um, but either way, thanks for watching.